Um, I'm, I'm on the site jw.org, find a meeting. That's where I got the number from. What? Um, I'm reading your book, Enjoy Life Forever. And I've just oh, got, a, got a couple of questions about the book. Um, yes. I wonder if somebody could help. Yeah, um, of course we can. Thank you. Yes. I don't know if you're but, free at the moment. I don't want to disturb you if you're busy at work or something. Uh, well, I'm all right for five minutes. I'm just going to have my breakfast in a minute. But it's just a bit settling itself. My morning porridge. So, whereabouts do you live? Um, I'm some way to the south of you. I don't want to give out my home address due to data protection. I don't want to go on a database. But I'm to the south of you. Yeah, that's no problem. We didn't, I wasn't going to... Um, we have a database, we don't want to anybody's information, just I could have perhaps got a brother to, to contact you near, nearby to speak to, but I'm happy to talk to you. Yes. If, if, if that's all right. It's a bit hard to hear you. Yeah, I'm happy to talk to you, but, but yes. what are your questions? I'm done, by the way. I'm, I'm Robert, pleased to meet you. Um, nice to meet you, Robert. Well, I'm a bit curious about um, um, chapter seven. Um, Paragraph one is only two lines. It's on page 29. It's very brief. It says, why are we unable to see God? And the two lines read this way, which I would agree with, by the way. God is a spirit, John 4, 24. Jehovah does not have a physical body. He is a spirit who lives in heaven, a place that we cannot see. So I would obviously agree with that. Uh, God is a spirit. Jehovah doesn't have a physical body, meaning the father doesn't have a physical body. He's a spirit who lives in heaven, a place we cannot see. So Jehovah or the Father is a spirit. I would agree with that. My question is regarding the Holy Spirit. Is the Holy Spirit also a spirit? Is the Holy Spirit the same spirit as the Father? Or is the Holy Spirit a different spirit, another spirit to the Father? Or is the Holy Spirit not spirit at all? Uh, the Holy Spirit is Jehovah's active force. So when he creates things, he uses his Holy Spirit. When he wants to direct things, he uses his Holy Spirit. Well, that doesn't really answer my question. I mean, there's no passage in the Greek or Hebrew text that calls the Holy Spirit God's active force, unless you can show me such a passage in the Greek or Hebrew. Um, I want to know, is the Holy Spirit spirit? It's, it's a kind of yes or no answer. Yes, the Holy Spirit is spirit, or no, the Holy Spirit is not spirit. I'm not sure I understand what you mean. I mean uh, Jehovah God is a spirit person, a spirit creature, if you like to say. So are the angels. I mean, so is Satan. So is Jesus Christ. But the Holy Spirit is Jehovah God's active force. That's what he uses when he creates things. So it's, it's a different sort of spirit. It's not the same spirit as, as Jehovah himself or Satan or anybody. It's more like, I don't know, I suppose like electricity, for instance, is a force, isn't it? Um, to my knowledge, there's no verse in the Greek or Hebrew text that calls the Holy Spirit God's active force. But if I'm wrong, please correct me. Please, please show me such a verse. Um, you said the Holy Spirit is another spirit. So do you believe Holy Spirit? My, my question is, is Holy Spirit a spirit or is Holy Spirit not a spirit? That's my specific question. The, are you coming from the angle of the Trinitarian? No, I'm, no I'm asking, is the Holy Spirit a spirit or no. is the Holy Spirit not a spirit? It's not a spirit, no, it's not a spirit person or a spirit creature. It, uh, I, I don't know how else to explain it, it's, it's God's active force, I know it's not a spirit. It's, no, well, it's Jehovah God is a spirit. So if the Holy Spirit, if the Holy Spirit is not a spirit, why then is the Holy Spirit referred to in the Bible as either the Holy Spirit or the Spirit of God? For instance, at Romans 8, 9, but you are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit, if indeed the Spirit of God dwells in you. Now, if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he is not his. So in the same verse, the Holy Spirit is referred to as the Spirit of God and the Spirit of Christ. How can the Holy Spirit not be a spirit when the Holy Spirit is called the Spirit of God. Yeah, because it comes out from God. That's, that's where, this, where the power emanates from. 
For instance, in Luke 135, when Jesus is uh, of an age is talking to Mary, he says to her, Holy Spirit will come upon you, and power of the Most High will overshadow you. For that reason, the one who is born will be called Holy, God's Son. I think that's actually verse 35, not, not 45. And I, no, I certainly... No, you didn't hear me. Oh, I'm sorry. It is very hard to hear you. You're very muffled. Yeah. Um, yeah. I certainly agree. That the, I certainly agree. That the Holy Spirit is called the um, is, is likened to the power of God, and I, I have no problem with that at all. I would agree with that. But if the Holy Spirit is not a spirit, as you said, why then is the Holy Spirit called the Spirit of God? For instance, Romans eight fourteen: For as many as are led by the Spirit of God. These are sons of God. Now, Spirit of God is there is a reference to the Holy Spirit. But if the Holy Spirit is not Spirit, why then is Holy Spirit referred to as the Spirit of God? I, I, I don't really get it. Because if the Holy Spirit is God's active force, they're being led by God's force, aren't they? By His Spirit, whatever that is, to direct them. Right, I can I... Can, I, can I, I don't really see a problem with it. Can I stop you? You've said four times the Holy Spirit is God's active force. Can you show me that in the Greek or Hebrew text? Which verse in the Bible, in the Greek or Hebrew, refers to the Holy Spirit as God's active force? Because if you can't show me a verse that says that, then you need to stop using that term. Can I, can I ask you the purpose of your call this morning? Well, I'm trying to obey Jehovah God and do the will of Jehovah God. I've been reading your book, but I'm right. puzzled about the Holy Spirit. I mean, you said earlier... Um, you it's said something. To, to, to be honest with you, you don't sound puzzled. You sound, sound as though you've made up your mind about it and you're trying to persuade me. Oh, okay. Well, is that a bad thing? I mean, if you're in the truth, what have you got to lose? What have you got to be afraid of? I'm not afraid of anything, my, good. my friend. Good, good, good. Okay. Could you show me a verse in the Greek or Hebrew text where the Holy Spirit is called God's active force? So, the, the word spirit comes from the Greek pneuma, which means to breathe or to blow, or from the Hebrew ruach, same in the same root. So, it means breath. For instance, you could look at Habakkuk 2.19 or Revelation 13.15. It's a bit, like, a bit like the wind, isn't it? So, it's talking about the vital force. It's not. It, ruach and pneuma refer to spirit. That's the primary meaning, and that's the use in Genesis 1-2, where Ruach Elohim, uh, Ruach Spirit, Elohim of God, means that the Holy Spirit is called the Spirit of God there. See, not see, not see. active force. You know, if you're going to keep... Okay, can I, can I guess get back to my original question? The Holy Spirit is called the Spirit of God in Romans 8-14. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are sons of God. Now, you say the Holy Spirit is not a spirit. Why then is Holy Spirit called the Spirit of God if Holy Spirit is not a spirit? Isn't that, isn't that confusing? No, well, not to me at all, no. It's, it's quite plain to me. I mean, for instance, Genesis 2, 7. Jehovah God went on to form the man out of dust from the ground to blow into his nostrils the breath of life. So where does the breath of life come from? What's, what's, the, what's the root word for that? Um, I I'm, have to work from memory. I think, it, would it be Ruach? Yes, it would, yes. Mm. So Ruach is, is spirit, but not, not all words translate directly across. Yes. Sometimes we have, to, yeah. we have to look for the root meaning of them. Yeah, but, but so, nobody... Can I, call, can I call you back later? Because I really do... Yes, I mean, yes, it, yes, it sure. A a absolutely, more. absolutely, sir. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. My name's Robert. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yes, OK, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.